they obviously thought that it would take quite a bit of spin. The Australians including uh, two spinners in their side. Bradley Hogg getting the opportunity to play his first test match. He's joining the leg spinner Peter McIntyre. Mark Taylor uh, back in the side after having his uh, back problems. And for India, well, they decided to use three spinners. They've got uh, Sunil Joshi, Anil Kumble, and then the off-spin of Ashish Kapoor. Also making his debut for the Indians, David Johnson, the fast bowler, coming in to replace the injured Javagal Shri. Started to bat first, and Australia will be hoping for a good start. Michael Slater got uh, just a bit of bat on that. And, uh, and the outfield will be quite quick. And boundary's not long, so there's the uh, first boundary for Australia. Mark Taylor taking it off the first ball that he faced. Nicely on top of it, playing it late and getting the placement right. He gets his chance in a test match for India. That's away to the boundary. So first boundary for Michael Slater, Australia. That's a good shot. Plays the horizontal bat shots pretty well. Front foot, very quick to transfer that weight on the back foot. And crack it away in front of square. And it... yep. It's a bit of a learning experience, this, for uh, David Johnson. Mark Taylor has just crashed that away through the covers for four. There's no third man. And once again, just squaring the Australian captain up and just the two slips, so it will go all the way to the boundary. Well, a big shout and he's given him. Well, all morning, Mark Taylor has let the ball go and shown a wonderful understanding of where his off stump is. It's you on a low bouncing pitcher and strike. Well, this is beautifully bowled by Prasad. It was the leg cutter and a good decision there by Empire Peter Willey because when uh, the ball hit Taylor, he... And it's one of Slater's great strengths. Square of the wicket. And tries to repeat the dose, but... Joshi, very good fielding at point. And just unfortunate for he that he is a left-hander. But the spinner around. That's a nice shot. Kumble just straying down leg side. That was, uh, it's been a problem. Once again, Kumble down leg side, and he pays for it. Well. Oh, that's a lovely on drive. Gee, he's played that shot well. Well, that could be the best shot of the morning. Lovely use of the feet. Just past the fielder. Excellent cricket. Ah! Oh, beautifully bowled. Yeah, that's lovely bowling. Getting the ball to just curve away and then spin back. He opened up the gap and Ricky Ponting has been bowled. Keep down. Sashin Tendulkar's... Uh, dream change of bowling big spin ball between bat and pad really turned a lot i said i thought he really elementary batting there from ricky ponting just pushing that's a nice shot from michael slater sometimes when slater's facing the spinners he just i think that's right ian this time he had the width the ball was fuller in length so... Slater's decided that he's going to try and get after Kapoor. Which if he bowls the odd ball a little slower. And right he's got it. Beautifully bowled. That one just stopped on Slater. He hangs his head. A very disappointed batsman. India coming straight after lunch. Well, just as I was saying, he should vary his pace. He's done exactly that. This one a little slower from Anil Kumble. You can see uh, Michael Slater pushing at it, playing a little too early, getting it high on the bat, and a simple written return catch to Anil Kumble. He would be... Ah! And a shout there, and he's gone. Steve War has gone for a duck. So Kapoor has struck again. This is beautifully bowled by Ashish Kapoor, taking the outside edge of Steve War's bat. 
Bongia taking it in fact on the third attempt. That was beautifully bowled by Kapoor. He's bowling a good line. He's on the board. Hand up. Now that's what Mark Waugh does so well. If you give him something loose, he'll put it away. And immediately that's had an effect on Kapoor because he's tried to bowl two or three quicker deliveries. Still there. Well, that's well played. Superb shot from Michael Bevan. He's already hit one boundary today, but this was probably the best. Will be Michael Bevan and Mark War. There's Kumle. Yep. That's a lovely shot from Mark War. I think he almost changed his mind at the last minute and still managed four. Well, that were bound to come. He's been troubled all the over, and he said first chance. Lovely use of the feet. Most Australian bats are caught early to use the feet. The poor, most impressive in just his third match. Well, Austin's can't afford the ball. Short outside off stump to left handers and the max. And he plays that shot very well, Mark War. And both these players, Alan, have good footwork to the spinners. Playing across the line and he's given him. So Michael Bevan standing upright trying to play the pull shot. Not so sure how short this ball is for this type of shot. Looked like he was going to whip it to the onside. He might be a little yeah. disappointed with that, Michael, when he sees the replay. And uh... 143 for four. Yeah. And he's hit that one as well. And that's out. So the attempted sweep from Mark War, the edge onto the pad of the last ball of the over. And well, the, the shot was on, and obviously Mark War there has just got a bottom edge to that. Ballooned off the pad and a very simple catch. catch Shouts of catch it, and I think that's come off the glove. Brad Hogg wasn't looking at the umpire, but. Uh, Umpire Ben Cat's finger went up extremely quickly. A lot of bounce there for Kumble. And a young man playing in his first case. This one stops a bit on him. Just stops, rises up, and I don't think there was difficulty there. Everybody was up, and as Ian says, Ben Cat gave him out straight away. He had a good clear view of it. And Australia now in deep trouble, 147 for seven. There he goes. That's well hit. One bouncing over the rope. They get two or three good hits in. Yep. Shot. Short of a length. A little bit of width. Ball just stood up as it's been stopping occasionally. Nice timing there from Ian Healy. Length. And Ian Healy picked it up sweetly there. Look, it's very full. Real half volley. And on strike, ball rifle. And first runs for Eiffel as he punches it through the offside. This will go all the way to the fence. That's what Australia needed. <laughs> Loud shout. This time he's gone. Rahul Dravid making no mistake there at Silly Point. Again, the wonder whether I should come to the commentary position. Every time I come up here, Australia lose a wicket. And as we see there, the, the ball just drifting into the pad, flying off the Silly Point, and poor Rahul's on his way. Australia 169 for 8 now. He's bowled him. He's getting the inner edge. And having his stump shattered. So Australia lose yet another wicket. Here we see Kumble again drifting the ball back in at the right-hander. Ian Healy playing what is one of his more favoured shots, trying to run the Australian. A, a lot of bother now at 170 for nine, but edge onto his stumps. This will go all the way to the fence. It's too quick for Mohamed Azruddin. It's the way this could go all the way to the fence. Ashish Kapoor giving chase, but the ball crosses the line. So these are looking for the single. This could be trouble. Empire. Wenka Dragwan asked for the third empire, but I think Len McGraw might just find himself out of his crease. We'll take another look. Well, that's a tragedy for these folks. Here we go. 
third umpire to make a decision. And that looks very much out to me. So a run out in the end brings the Australian innings to an end. All out for 182. A terrific performance by the Indians. See there at the uh, top of the order, Michael Slater. Top scoring with 44, 27 to Mark Taylor, and then a couple of 20s. One to Mark War and uh, the other to Michael Bevan. But the rest quite disappointing as Australia could only total 182. For India, Prasad got the first breakthrough and then the spinners did the job for India. Jo is off the mark. It's now very important that you don't give easy balls on the pad. Because that's what happens. They just knock it off. It's easy. Just work it away. And they gift runs. Really don't want an opening ball. You're trying to probe around off stump. That's unusual. Very, very unusual from Steve Waugh. Bit of hesitation, and they complete three quite easily. Funny game. In the air and gone. Unusual field placement that they had a shot mid-wicket for Rattord. Rifle permits himself a smile and very might because Australia have picked up their first wicket. India, 13 for one. Wickram Rattord is the man gone. Once again, Mark Taylor showing very good captain seat. Not quite where Paul Rifle intended it to land, but just a lolly catch put on that occasion. So Australia breaks through, India 13 for one. He loves playing that shot, Mongia. If you ask him for a dying wish, he'll say, give me one down the leg side. It'll be interesting to see the umpires call on this one. He's given it. Did he call that four buys? That's pretty well struck. He picked the slow ball up quite early. And that'll go for four runs through the covers. Steve Waugh comes in. This will be four runs. Not quite where he intended. Getting a thickish outside edge. And as well. If he certainly if he gets 100. But I say, you give Ganguly width, and he's going to go after you. You see his width there, it's a good over the foot out. Bradley Hogg being introduced into the attack, and he'll be bowling to the left-handed Ganguly. And this is nicely punched away by Saurav Ganguly. This will go all the way to the fence. Enough time to go on that back foot. Uh, going along nicely at 47 for one. And it'll be 51 for one with that. Lovely straight drive from Saurav Ganguly. Peter McIntyre here. We'll start again tomorrow with everything to play for. Oh, a poor feeling. It was a bad ball to start with. And the field of it. Beautiful shot there from Ganguly. Very strong in that area. We see Rifle just drifting outside. Ganguly. Now that's a shot he had a lot of trouble with in England, where the ball seems a lot. Yeah. That is great strength, Ganguly. You keep waiting for that ball. That'll be four more. Once of the front foot, once of the back. Brilliant foot. It's found the gap for four. Edged and into the gap. This will go all the way to the fence. And that's it. 50 for Nayan Mongia. It's been a gutsy performance by the Indian wicketkeeper. And the crowd here giving him a big hand. Well deserved half century. And he's found the gap on the onside, Mongia. That was time. Down the track comes Ganguly, and that's beautifully played. 
lovely use of his feet down the track to the pitch of the ball and that's a full toss and he gets it he found the gap on the offside for another boundary that's another half century in test cricket for Saurav Ganguly that's a bad ball from Mark War. he loves to hit through that side of the field though left-hander batsman the ball doing all the work for him and his only problem there was placement which he didn't have a problem a rare occasion for Ganguly coming down pitch but very successful and just the full face of the bat that's what helps Ganguly out lovely swing of the bat He's got him playing the sweep, and Brad Hogg has got his first test wicket. The man was caught up just behind square leg, and off the glove. And Mark Taylor ruined the fact that he's at mid-hop. So Brad Hogg, his first test wicket. Ten centuries to his name. That's going to bounce just short of the rope. Ganguly hit a six a couple of overs ago. And similar type shot this time off McIntyre. Lovely. And he goes again. And that one's just short of the rope once again. One for Chinsen Dulga. And gloriously driven through the covers. This will go all the way to the fence. Lovely piece of timing. Hard work and the graft this morning. And now the... And he swung this away between mid on and mid-wicket in the air and into the fence. The second boundary in this over for Tendulka. Well, he can't allow runs to come as freely and as quickly as it's happening now. He's gone. That's a big blow for India. Sachin Tendulka edging that one straight into the hands of Slips. Turned a long way from Peter McIntyre. Just the time when Australia needed a wicket, they've got one. Well, it's a funny kind of shot. The ball was short of a length. It turned slowly. It looked to me as if he was going to stop his shot. He couldn't quite make up his mind what he was going to do. He was half going to leave. Tendulka gone. Big blow. Great for Australia, 169 for three. Nicely played on the onside through mid-wicket. Long chase here for a man at square leg, and the ball just crosses over the line. Again, a nice piece of timing by Azaruddin, his first boundary. Yeah. Oh. oh. He swung this one on the onside for another boundary. Bowling tight. Don't give him any easy loose balls, you see. Short of a length, they're easy to put away on this slow pitch. You've time anyway for a ball short. In the air, but in the gap as well. Second successive boundary for Mohamed Azaruddin. Full toss and put away by Nayan Mongia. Brilliant. Just crashed right through him, just as we were telling you, Glenn McGrain, fiery mood. That simply has to be the moment of the morning. India lose a fourth wicket. Every fast bowler's dream. Just holding its line, and we're talking about the ball might just be starting to tail, and brilliant breakthrough for Australia. Rahul Dravid comes in. There's a lot in common between uh, Dravid and Azruddin, especially their inclination to play on the onside. It's another example for both. That's a beauty. It's one of the shots he plays very well. Playing through the on of the back foot. This will go for four runs. Slashed away on the offside, finding the gap between second slip and gully. Hide this. 
Going for an extravagant drive, a long way away from him. Edged, not quite carrying through Yanili. Not even. On the graph. Punched away nicely off the back foot on the offside. Long chase here for Michael Bevan. Just stops it inside the fence. Quite wide. And this is beautifully played by Rahul Dravid. Nicely on top. There it is. And the crowd rise as one to congratulate Mongi on a debut century and all the Australians doing what is right and applauding the young man. And what a thrill, Alan, for the young boy. Well, it's an absolutely magnificent century. And the long hop dispatched where it should be into the photographers. Stay in this game. And he's got him. Great catch in Healy. Down leg side, flick down leg side. So the new ball has done the damage for the Australians. And it's been a tough day for the wicket keeper, as Alan Border mentioned, but that will make his day. Dismissal that you come to expect from Ian Healy. Been a little bit out of sorts with the missed stumping early, but that is a magnificent leg side catch. India 260. Sonil Joshi off the mark. What was in the second innings? He's found the gap. Once again, McGraw's in the way. That's not the first time it's happened. I'll pick up three. Uh, yeah. and, the aerial, and the aerial route it is. Um, outside it and swinging it away over the mid-wicket fielder. Uh, yeah. There he goes again. That's a big one. That's gone right over for six. Just as Ravi Shastri was saying, I've seen him do that a few times myself, Sunil Joshi. Let's pick the gap again. There's enough momentum on that. Take it all the way. Well, that man is not there. And... That is a perler. And uh, there's a man out there, uh, it's deep mid-wicket, and out. So Peter McIntyre has set the trap, and the man in the spot where Mark Taylor wanted him to be was Ricky Ponting, and straight down at the young Tasmanian's throat. And Mongi won't be too thrilled with Sunil Joshi. That really is not very smart cricket. Must have decided that he could hit the ball over Ponting's head. He was wrong. India have lost their six wicket with a total. And flick away, this will be four runs. He's got that fine enough. Down the track comes Mongia and hits it over the infield and into the fence wide of mid on. In the air and he's taken. Mark War has got a wicket. For the Australians, just what they wanted this morning, this ball stopping a bit on Ashish Kapoor, playing a little too early. Giving his wicket away here, a little gentle off spinner, turns it out of the rough, it wasn't there quite to turn. We're talking about Azarudin yesterday, well a poor dismissal really, a soft dismissal, 341 for 7. He's picked his spot. He's given it six. 150 to Nan Rongia. The landmarks are just flowing now. Glenn. Ball them. It's all over for Nan Mongia. Paul Rifle has provided the breakthrough and the end of an innings that Nan Mongia will probably remember forever. Taking McGrath off and are being rewarded in the first over of Paul Rifle, but the moment belongs to this young man. 
Mongia walks off, very proud young Indian, after dominating the innings, being applauded by all the Australians in the middle of the ground. They appreciate the amount of work that that man had done to stay there for so long. Well, that's going to be very close, yes. Peter Willey says, on your way. And once again, the off-cutter working well for Paul Rifle. Willey. It's not going all that forward. Ball coming back and hitting him on the pads. That's plumb in front. So India lose their ninth wicket with 354 runs on the board. And Prasad gets that front foot out. Out! That's well bowled. Just clipped off stump on the way through. Quicker delivery there from Peter McIntyre. So India dismissed for 361. India all out for 361, which is a very good performance. And now the pressure will be on the Australian batsman. 152 for Nayan Mongia, and he faced 365 balls. It was a tremendous performance for him, his first Test match century. Good support from Ganguly on 66 and Dravid on 40. 361, the final total for India, and Paul Rifle picking up three wickets. He matched uh, Peter McIntyre, who had three for 103. Once again, Glenn McGrath, the best of the Australian bowlers, with only one wicket, second innings. A very, very important little period here before lunch, and uh, the man next to me knows more about that than anybody else at this ground. Did in the first innings. <laughs> well, as he did in the first innings, Mark Taylor begins his innings with a boundary off the first delivery. So Johnson to Slater. He's done it again, and out. What a catch. Absolutely outstanding by Mohammed Azaruddin. And the words of Jeffrey Boycott, prophetic. What a shot. Look at it. It's nearly a wide. An atrocious shot. Brilliant catch, atrocious shot. And already four for one. Just a couple of runs for the Australian captain who doesn't get to the fence, but the new ball may in fact get there. Beautifully timed by Mark Taylor. He's still trying to exploit. And the regulation half volley is dealt with as it should be, and Ricky Ponding is a beautiful driver of the ball as well. Ball comes on to the bat, the easier it should be to drive a half volley. Not too well, they've tried it, and yeah. off the glove. The umpires said, no, everybody is appealing. And Ricky Ponning just standing his ground. Umpire Willie just says, here's your hat. Nobody wants to take your hat. And Ponding uh, plays it absolutely perfectly. Two. Oh, well bowled. It's gone right through Ponding. Ponning may have just been looking to hit uh, through the onside. And it could well have been the leg cutter that knocked him over. Right. Look where it pitches. He just moves enough to kiss that off stump. And Australia lose their second wicket. Ricky pounding out for 13, Australia 25 for 2. And a lovely shot from Mark Taylor, the square drive. Perhaps not quite where he would have liked it, but finished up uh, where he would have liked it. Lovely shot from Wall. Beautiful placement. He split the two fieldsmen, and the timing was good as well. Won't quite get a yes, it will. So, Mark Wall showing his exquisite skill in both. That's how you uh, play the shot. That's when I'm taking any chances either. That's a shot. But he loves playing in a shot he plays so well. There he goes again. How beautifully he's placed that shot. Oh, that might have been stopped. Thought he was going to get down to the ball there. He's going to and he's going to and then suddenly he falls. His footwork wasn't too good in the end. And that'll go for four more, so two boundaries coming in uh, this over. Both from shots. Ah! And the bigger 
feel and he's given him the bottom edge and Mongear after a day behind the stumps and 499 minutes at the crease takes the catch Mark War shakes his head he asks his captain what he thought and Mark War a pretty convivial type of character certainly not too pleased Ball stayed down a little bit, and the keeper staying down extremely well there. Big shout from all the fieldsmen around uh, Mongia. Umpire Willie had no hesitation. It's 72 for three. His name? Catch it! And an appeal, and he's out. Well, such a relaxed reaction with the ball in the air that people just sat and watched, and then the, the finger went up. Mark Taylor at the inside edge to the pad and everybody was quite calm about this so the fieldsman knew all along that he was going to get it the big edge so there was no panic and certainly on australia in deep trouble at 78 for four don't do that you play it late and this is cut away by bevan into the gap and all the way into the fence for four Pick the length up there very quickly to dispatch that one away. 85 for four. Gets a bottom edge, and this will go all the way to the fence. No chance for the keeper there to stop it. It's 90. Second boundary there for Steve War. Up it goes, and down he comes. Not quite getting in the middle of the bat, but placing it past the man in close and wide of cover. right through Azruddin's legs. Sunil Joshi. Close again. No justice for Joshi. So easily gone back onto his stumps. Don't waste your time saying go to the Opera House in uh, Sydney. And better luck in South Africa, gee. He's found the gap. Bit away from his body, but that was travelling. Looking for the Yorker. Just over does it. Thank you, says Bevan. It's really his four easy runs here. And mid on. Turn. Up In the air. Up goes umpire Venkat Raghavan's finger. And this is the wicket India wanted. After that little spell from Johnson, Kumble returns and provides the breakthrough. Michael Bevan is out. First gloves, you'll see. Getting the edge off the glove and to the fielder at first slip. Azaruddin making no mistake. So Australia lose their fifth wicket with 145 runs on the board. It's worked really hard for the runs. Oh dear. Little full toss put away by Ian Healy. Nicely placed and another full toss and Healy's put it away easily. Not a good over that one. Oh, good work there from Mongia. That ball drifting into Ian Healy's pads and a show of Mongia's having a terrific game. Well, a brilliant piece of glove work here. Picked this up really quickly and through the legs. Got it, didn't get it cleanly, but got enough of the ball. Really was top quality glove work. 159 for five. Middle of the road scores, and he's gone. Hogg has been given out by umpire Venkat. So now Kumble has four in each innings. 171 for seven. Kumble is in the deep. And he can't stop it. Now, what's Sachin Ten? Oh, well, that might be close. He's given him. How often have we seen Kumble get a wicket like that? Almost a Yorkle end ball. Five wickets in innings for Kumble. And Australia lose their eighth wicket. Man has. And this ball obviously bowled a lot quicker. Right up in the back hole. And catches poor rifle. Just falling across his crew. Well, rifle's gone for six. 191 for eight. Brings up the 50. So another half century to Steve War. The boundary takes him to 52. 
and it brings up the 200 for Australia as well. McIntyre on the offside, a boundary. So take... And this is nicely swept away. No chance for the man at square leg, David Johnson, to stop that. And the big appeal, and he's given him shuffling across the crease, Peter McIntyre. Umpire Ben Katravan. Ben Katragovan had a good long look at this one. And that's Plum. Plum LBW. He was a long, long way across. He had a good long look before he gave it. Peter McIntyre is gone. Australia, 232 for nine. The one pace. And he's likely to hit it to that short cover fieldsman. And uh, the big appeal, and that's it. The Australian innings has finished. The pace of Prasad who surprisingly was uh, has improved his batting against the spin bowlers he now needs to do a little bit of work with the quickies although he can perhaps point to the fact that he got an edge on that and say that his batting is improving good piece of bowling there from Prasad he remained 67 not out he showed uh, great perseverance terrific concentration and he put the loose ball away when it came along he got pretty good support at the end from Peter McIntyre with his limited ability he did extremely well to get 16 and provide a decent partnership there with Steve Waugh. 41 runs and at least gave the bowlers something to work with. For India, once again, it was Anil Kumble. Nine wickets for the match. He picked up five for 67 in the second innings and uh, he was assisted there by Prasad, who's a very good uh, seam bowler and bowls particularly well with the old ball. And the big appeal and he's given him. So the Centurion and... The man who played such a wonderful part in the first innings of this match for India to get themselves into a, a winning position has been dismissed without scoring. Well, this is where it's really got to be hard for Mongia after he's had uh, a long stint out there keeping as well as the long innings. Tiredness comes in, concentration is difficult, and he copped a very good ball from Paul Rifle. It's one for one. dropped well he's not there for that reason and Michael Slater did a pretty good pretty good job to hold it in his body for as long as he did and over the top of Ian Healy so a little bit of luck for the youngster very well directed a lovely shot no third man for Rathord and nothing gives batsmen who are touch out of four more confidence And he's played that beautifully. In fact, it didn't get up as much as he would have liked in the end and was able to adjust by Ben. No! There we are, that was a short ball. But a no ball, and it was too much offside. And Ganguly's put it away for four. Oh, well, he decided it's going to four, and he's pulled out right for four and in front of square. All the way through, nothing in between. His off stump's gone. And I'm afraid, Jeffrey, there's no not out here for Vikram Rathod. Well, that's the opposite, isn't it? Another failure. And it's very disappointing then. Well, it just seemed to sneak through the gap. I think it was a bit late. He played down the Bakerloo, and that came down Piccadilly. So I'm afraid he's out. 25 for two. Hold him. Sensation here at the Kotla. Tenduga's gone. India, 26 for three. And the Kangaroos fighting back. Well, the Kangaroos giving one or two of the Indians a few black eyes and a bloody nose, I think. And ball, leaving a gate, inside edge, onto leg stump, and out it goes. Oh, what a wicky for Glenn McGrath. Tenduga out for naught. India struggling 26 for three. Respect that. Front of square. That's gone for four. And I think once again the proximity of the hoardings did him. In. Respect the gap again. Rifle really feeding him on that shot. He looks in a fairly hungry mood. That's four more to Azruddin. Uh, as 
are brilliant. Cuts past a man at point and beats the man from third man. So, a spate of little boundaries to Azarudin. Free. Bam! No ball and boundary. Lovely shot from Azarudin. He's come out with the experience and he's going to have 15 or 20 minutes of just causing some pain for the Australians. A lovely shot to Muhammad. Just six required, last ball. And the crowd in anticipation. And there he goes towards the cover boundary. Didn't quite get it as much as he would have liked, but it's still going to go there, leaving the Indians just two runs shy of a victory. That's it. India has won the one-off series. Ganguly hitting the winning runs with a boundary. Azaruddin shakes the hand of the Australian captain and vice-captain Ian Healy. And a very, very good result for a young Indian side at the first time that Sachin Tendulkar has captained India and he has done it with a plum and with a very strong victory. India, quite clearly, the best of the two sides, Geoffrey, over the last five days. A couple of uh, good wickets there taken early on. Rifle and McGrath bowling quite well. And uh, it was Rathor out for 14. He's got a problem holding his spot. Nayan Mongia just shows you how this uh, game can bring you back to earth. He was out for a duck after his first inning century. And also Tendulkar out for a duck. Ganguly remained 21 not out. And Azaruddin uh, helped India home to victory with uh, a string of boundaries there at the end. He also remained 21 not out. For Australia, their quickies bowled pretty well. One for 30, McGrath, two for 24 for Rifle. But I think that's the most damning uh, thing about the whole match, that Australia's fast bowlers were their best.